Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to give you a tour of my seven-year-old daughter's bedroom and give you some tips on decorating for kids. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel today. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I thought I would film this intro on my phone uh, just for fun and because it's easier today and see how it works to so let me know if the quality is weird or whatever. Um, so today I wanna to give you a tour of my seven-year-old daughter's bedroom. We recently um, redecorated it for her and uh, I love it. I think it's the perfect princess bedroom and I think you will love it too. And um, it was fun because it was kind of a collaboration between the two of us. So I wanna share some of the things we did and just give you some tips on decorating for children, how you can decorate with kids, and just some organization and decor tips for children's bedrooms. Here was my daughter's room before. She chose this really vibrant purple color when she was four years old, and she told me that she was ready for a change, so we made a big change. Welcome to my daughter's room now. As you open the door, you can see right away that the room looks a lot bigger, a lot brighter, and I think the real real main change we made here was we painted the walls a really light, bright color. It was lots of work. We had to do a lot of priming to get rid of that dark color. The paint is called um, Prelude to Pink from Cloverdale, and we did lots of spray painting and DIY, so the light fixture that we had before we spray painted gold, the bed we had before we also flipped around and we spray painted, or rather we painted that with a gold metallic craft paint as well. We have lots of white and lots of pale pink accents like the sheepskin rug and this rug I found from H&M, as well as a couple of new pieces of furniture. These ones, this chest and the nightstand are from the brick and I think they're just gorgeous. I think the whole effect is really kind of shabby chic with a little bit of glam mixed in. This vanity here, my mom and dad gave this to my daughter a few years ago and they refinished it and I think it looks really great with the new nightstand and the chest of drawers which really have that vintage feel. This lamp here was thrifted and I thought it was really great with the brass and the white accents and I just recovered the lamp shade with some really cute shabby chic floral fabric. And moving on to the bed, this um, is all DIY, the duvet cover, and the throw pillows as well. And I'll leave a link in the description box below for the tutorial for these if you're interested in sewing these yourself. Here's another view of that beautiful chest. And on top, I have a thrifted gallery wall, and I found these at Value Village. And I just simply repainted lots of them and added some free artwork. And I'll leave a link to this project in the description box below as well. I think for any child's room, it's really important to have lots of storage. So in the little nook when you open the door, I just used um, one of the little shelves that I had in my powder room before. And I hung it up here in this corner, spray painted again some gold, and we have um, little C's Shopkins collection and some of her toys. We also made this little art wall as well. And it's just simply a picture frame covered with some lace and I just strung some lace trim and clothespins on it. And I'll leave a link to this project in the description box below as well. Really easy and a really great way for your child to display their artwork. We also have this really nice giant closet here for her storage. I think the room turned out really well. It was lots of DIY, so it wasn't very expensive to do. And I think this paint and all of the paint, painted accents and things make a huge difference. I will leave a link to more pictures and more description in the description box below. Come have a look at more pictures. There's also a free piece of art to download if you want that as well. And don't forget to visit my blog, thediymommy.com, for more tutorials. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next week. Bye!